All right, welcome to the second Guitar Gate video on finger exercises. So, if you've never played guitar before, you need finger exercises because you need to build strength and dexterity so you can actually get your fingers to do what you want them to do. So what I'm going to show you is just like running a lap in gym class. There's no harmonic value at all. It doesn't sound good, but we're building strength. We're building dexterity. It's very important. And you're going to get calluses on the tips of your fingers. And it's going to hurt in the beginning. But you're just going to have to deal with it, because that's pretty much what happens. So before we start, the first thing I want to talk about is your pick. Now, there are lots of people out there that don't use picks, and that's fine. If you have no preference, use a pick. Use a regular celluloid or Tortex pick. Don't use metal or anything crazy like that. Use a regular medium pick. As you play, your preferences will change. And you know, if you want to go to a heavy, if you want to go to a light, you know, you'll make that change you know, as you progress through your playing. Now, you want to hold it perpendicular from your thumb. So you don't want to have it coming straight out from your nail like that. You want to have it coming out dead sideways from your thumb. And when you play, you want to be picking with your wrist and your hand. You don't want to be doing a lot of elbow, a lot of shoulder. That's how you get really tired, and you know that's just not a good choice at all. And also posture. I have a lot of students that start and they hunch over like this, and they, you know, they try to play like this with their elbow out. Your back's going to hurt. Your elbow's going to hurt. You're going to get tired very quickly. It's not fun. You see this? That's a cutaway. That's where your leg goes. Put it on the one. Pick a leg. Make sure the guitar is straight up and down, and your back is straight up and down. So that when you pick, again, perpendicular, you're picking straight down on the string and you're using your fingers and your wrist. All right, so now when we talk about which fingers to use, it's one, two, three, and four. There's no number for the thumb, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to place our first finger behind the first fret of the sixth string, and we're going to play it. Then we're going to place our second finger behind the second fret and play it. Third finger, third fret. Fourth finger, fourth fret. Now when we do this, it's important to alternate pick. That means we're alternating down and then up. So this will be a down stroke, up stroke. Down stroke, up stroke. We're going to repeat this process on all the remaining strings. So on the fifth string, fourth string, again, up, down, up, third string, down, up, down, up, down, up, all the way to the first string. Now when you get here, I want you to slide your pinky up one fret. This is up. We're going up in tonal value. This would be down. All right, so our pinky is going to slide up to the fifth fret on the first string. And now we're going to do the reverse. We're going to go backwards. So four, three, two, one on each string. Now we're still alternate picking. the sixth string, we're going to take our first finger and slide up to the third fret. So we're going to repeat this whole process all the way up the neck to the twelfth fret. I recommend doing this with a metronome. Now first, I want you to start very slowly. It's very important that you're accurate. You don't go for speed yet. Speed is very easy to teach. You know, it's very easy to get, you know, anybody can be made very fast. It's the accuracy which you need in order to build the speed. So you want to make sure each note rings out. You can hear it clearly. It's all audible. There's no buzzing. When you switch in between notes and between strings, you're not losing any time. You're not losing any rhythm. 
you start really slow. And then, after you complete that progression for a while, you bump up your metronome a little bit. And then the next week you bump it up a little more, and you bump it up a little more. This, this process we're going to use for scales and everything, and that's how you build speed. So when you complete this lesson, this is what I want you to see. And remember to alternate pick. And don't cheat. Do it with a clean sound. Make sure all your notes ring out equal length. That was 125. I'd like you to start slower than that wherever you're comfortable. And every week or so, just bump it up a little bit. Bump it up a little bit. You won't notice the change immediately, but if you do that for you know, a three month period, by the end of the three months, you, know, you can be as fast as you'd like to be. One more thing. I want you to try some other exercises just for you. So instead of just going one, two, three, four, over, and then four, three, two, one, back, just like we did, try mixing them up. So one, two, three, four, then maybe on the next string go down. Remember to alternate pick. How about skipping strings? Certainly a workout for the right hand. or even skipping fingers for each string. I want you to have fun with it. Work your little piggies.